In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take two every point point cloud scans of the same area, but have different areas filled in and merge them together to get a more complete scan. So in this case, we have this house facade and this side building called the bank. And if you go to the back, you'll see it's, it's missing kind of the staircase area. Well, we did a second scan of this bank here in a different point cloud. And if I go to the rear side of it, you'll see that it's all filled in. So I want to take this area here and I'm going to merge it in here. And typically to do that, we're going to take both the point clouds and have cloud compare do an ICP fine registration where it's going to take the points from both the models and try to match as much as it to each other as it can to make one seamless point cloud. And that's pretty easy. So the first thing I need to do is just figure out which of the two point clouds I want to merge into the other point cloud. So I'm, I'm going to say the smaller one I want to merge into the larger one. So if I take the smaller one, which we call the bank scan, and I can just look at that one separately, I can look at and figure out what parts do I don't need to merge. I don't need this over here. I don't need that over there. So I'm just going to do a quick just segmentation. It's the scissors tool and just click around your model. And you're going to basically circle what you want to keep in for your merge. So there we go. Hit the segment in button. And then I hit the trash can because I don't care about keeping that data for later. So now I have just this small sub model of the bigger scene. And it is nowhere aligned with this scene. And the first thing we need to do is roughly align these two. To do that, you just use the translate rotate tool at the top. It's got red arrows with a little circle around it. And you can now use your right click to translate your model and your left click to rotate the model. So the first thing I'm going to do is kind of translate it in somewhat close. And I really want to focus in on the areas that we'll be trying to fill in. So say start to move this model around. Um, I'll say, oh, those are nowhere aligned on the Z. So I'm just going to move this guy up closer, rotate. As you do this more often, you can get fairly quick at it. So things are getting closer. As you change your views, you'll notice that things really aren't lined up until you've, you've looked at it at different angles. But here we go. We're getting them close. They're also not scaled perfectly. I made sure that these two models were scaled a little differently. Um, that, thing, that way nothing completely lines up. I'm just going to do my best here. So I got these two models. Kind of look at this corner here. Got them fairly well lined up on that corner. Um, this... This bank wall here will not line up, which is okay. But I'm going to just do my best. Here we go. Getting really close. And I'm happy with that rough alignment right there. And so the next thing that I have is, okay, so I have two rough aligned models. Um, just going to select them both. And you can hold control or command, pane, depending on your PC or Mac. And there's a button here called um, finally register already roughly aligned entities cloud or meshes. And it's basically these two shapes, one's green, one's red. Now everything changes colors. You're like, uh-oh, what happened? That's just showing you which cloud is which. It's an easy way to see, based off the coloration, which of the two models you're looking at. But I've also named them, so it's easy. Um, the aligned is the scan that um, it, it's going to be moved. So we're going to align that one. And the reference one is the one that is we want to keep where it is. And in this case, I have them backwards. So I can hit swap. I want the house scan, this big area, not to move. And if you hover over the the the, the names, it'll tell you which one moves. So you'll you'll know. And as we move down this this point cloud registration form, uh, I, I want to change a few parameters. So final, final overlap, I'm just going to say 90%. That's pretty good. So 90% of this will be the same. I know some things are different. There was a door that actually got open between the two. Um, so we'll have some mismatches, but that's okay. So you just you just roughly estimate how much of this is the same. And then you also want to make sure adjust scale is clicked if you know these aren't scaled exactly the same. And then I'm going to go to the research tab and pick how many uh, random sampling limit points I want. So it says 50,000, I can make it 500,000. Depends how many points you have. I'm just going to leave it as is. I find that 50,000 works for a lot of scans. Um, we want it to be able to rotate and translate. And then enable for this point removal. Uh, I always check mark that on. I can't tell you exactly why. I know it, keeps, uh, it, it tries to constrain the points to the closer 
uh, together two models. Um, but just hit OK. This might only take a few seconds or a few minutes, depending on how fast your machine is. Now if you hit OK, I'll notice that, wow, these two are very well lined up. I don't see kind of two walls going on. And it's actually two point clouds that we're looking at here. So if I click on and off one, you can see that there's a little bit of wiggle, but for the most part, they're pretty darn close. Um, close enough for what we need to do. And you can always do this a second time if you feel like they're not close enough, because it will register them a little closer. And then you can run this one more time and get them even closer yet. So I'm happy. Uh, the next thing is I actually don't need to duplicate a bunch of points in the model. I'm just adding a bunch of weight. Uh, so I'm going to look at this house scan and say, okay, I really just want to fill in this area from that other scan. So what you can do is click on, I have the bank scan that's been registered. I have it highlighted, but I have it turned off. So we're not looking at it. Just looking at this blank area on the house scan and take the segment tool. But again, have the bank scan highlighted and I'm just going to click around what we want to add. And so just kind of go up through here. Um, I'm going to add all this area like so and hit segment in, hit the green check mark. So now this, this bank scan is two different scans, but you can see I got rid of that second part, which is uh, just data we already have. I don't need. So I'm going to take this part, that part, I'm going to merge them two together. So I can click the house scan, which I want it to be merged to. And then the bank scan while holding control. And then the merge button at the top here says merge multiple clouds. Don't need a scalar fill for this. And there we go. We have one seamless point cloud. And that's how you can do a building, perhaps, that you can't get fully around. There's a fence, something that's hard. But you can get some overlap between two scans. You can easily merge them in cloud compare. It takes you a few minutes. And there you go. You have a more complete scan. I hope you like this tutorial with every point data and cloud compare. I uh, hope to see you in the next tutorial. And again, let us know in the comments if there's something you don't know how to do that you perhaps are interested in with Cloud Compare. And I can do a quick tutorial for you. Thank you for watching.